have some fun idioms and slang for you to learn from 2020. I got these from my daughters and her friends, and I've heard them use a couple of these in their everyday language. So check these out and you can become more fluent in English. Twenty twenty English slang. So all of these words that I found are words that are used for young people. So I personally would not use most of these words just because um, my daughters who are teenagers might think that I'm trying to be too cool. <laughs> so just be aware, you know, if you're older, like let's say older than I would say you know, in your 30s, maybe in your 30s, you still might use some of these things, but usually they're for teenagers or people in their 20s. Um, you know, high school, college students, I think that these ones are great for you. But if you're older than that, um, probably not so typical, unless you have friends who, you know, really like to use um, a lot of this slang in their everyday life. But like I said, me personally, I probably won't use a lot of these words, but it's also just great to know them. So when you hear them, you know what they mean, right? So let's get started. The first one is she's so extra. The definition, dramatic, over the top behavior. So for example, she's being so extra today. Why is she like that? She always acts like everything is such a big deal. So when you're extra, it's like you your behavior is over the top, right? You're being like extra exaggerating about everything, making everything a big deal. Here's the next one. Why are you so salty? The definition of salty as slang or an idiom is to be upset about little things, salty. Here's an example. Every time something small happens to you, like when your phone dies, you get so upset. Why are you always so salty about everything? All right, here's another one. You're a goat, man. <laughs> now I know this sounds kind of funny because why would you call someone goat? But it actually means something else. This is an acronym for greatest of all time. So an acronym is when you take the first letter of each word and you make a new word, right? So greatest, G, of, that's the O, all is the A, and then time is for T. That's goat, greatest of all time. So here's an example. Those moves on the basketball court were incredible. Your goat, right? So this is when we're talking about something that you do that's really awesome or better than anybody else. Spill the tea, sis. What does this mean? Can you guess from this picture? It means tell me the gossip. So here's an example. Tell me what happened this weekend at that party. Spill the tea. So this has to do with, you know, telling secrets or something that happened to someone else. You're gossiping, right? So if you know, don't know what gossip means, um, it's about, you know, telling secrets about someone else or telling some uh, details about something that happened. Spill the tea, sis. So that's like if you're talking to a friend, you would say sis. That's a girl. All right, that's so sick. The definition is awesome, great, incredible. So for example, someone might say, I can't believe those lyrics in that rap song. It's so sick. So sick is used to describe something that is really awesome, great, or incredible, which is kind of funny, right? Because sick normally means when someone feels terrible, <laughs> When you feel bad and you're ill, right? You're sick with a cold or something. But here it means something totally different. So now it has kind of an ironic meaning or like the opposite meaning. Here's another one. That was so lit. Lit, L-I-T. 
Definition, fun, awesome, memorable. So for example, when we talk about a party, right? That party was lit. So many people came and we had so much fun. So this is lit. Usually it's about an event, like something that you did. This is when we use lit. This is today's fit. Now instead of lit, we have fit, F-I-T. Definition, style or outfit. Example, I love your fit, it's so cute. So now we're just basically taking the word outfit and turning it into fit. <laughs> That's so fire. Definition, stylish or cool. Example, your shoes are fire. So this is really used for young people when they would talk about something that they like about someone's outfit or something they think is really cool. They would call it fire. All right, here's the last one. I'm low key in love with him. Loki is another slang word that's used when we want to describe something, how you, a way that you feel secretly or moderately emotional. So I'm low key. Remember, I'm low key in love with him. So that means that like you're secretly in love with him or your emotions aren't like really strong necessarily. So moderately emotional, secretly or moderately emotional. That's all for now. Like and subscribe. Bye.